What is the maximum profit Marcia can earn from the picture frame she makes in one week? All right, so the maximum profit, the most money she can possibly make. Okay, so what do we have? What do I know? I know that her profit, P, is equal to 30 times S plus 70 times L. Well, how do I know that? Well, it's provided in the question. It's provided here. Marcia makes a profit of 30S plus 70L dollars. So obviously, looking at this um, formula, the more large frame she makes, the more money she makes, right? Like that's really her money maker because she makes $70 for each one. You know, it's not bad to make $30 per small one, but um, she makes more than twice that on one large one. So I really want to maximize the number of large frames that she makes. Well, looking at the large frames axis, our Y axis here, the highest number of frame, the highest number of large frames that she makes is here at this point where she makes zero small and eight large. So plugging that into the formula here, what I get is a profit of 30 times zero because she's not making any small frames at all. Sorry, put a zero there. But she is making eight large frames, so that's 70 times eight. And what I get from that is zero plus 560, and I get a profit of $560. So then looking at the answer choices, 560 is bigger than 410, it's bigger than 460, it's bigger than 540, it's not bigger than 690. However, um, you know, she would have to make twice as many small frames as large frames to make this not the best answer. And the reason why I say that again is because $70 is more than two times bigger than $30. So even if we were to look at, for instance, this point here, where she makes nine small frames and two large frames, it just won't be enough. We can sh I'll show you. So 30 times nine plus 70 times two, I get 270 plus 140, which is equal to 410. So we're way here, which we already know is not the best answer because we're looking for the we're looking to maximize our profit. And then the only other combinations look like they show up here, where you get six small and four large, and here, where you have three small and six large. Those are the only two combinations based upon the graph, because again, this is a linear graph, and we only have um, exact numbers of small and large frames at the points that I've just provided. If you want to try those, you can. We can try them. You put in 6 for S and 4 for L, and we don't get a number bigger than 560. If you put in 3 for S and 6 for L, you would also not get a number larger than 560. So our answer here for maximizing the profit is J, $560. And again, really is based upon the fact that she, she, did, she never makes more than eight large frames, and because she's making so much more for the large frame than she is for the small frame, really that's going to carry this answer and kind of make it have to be answer choice J.